Um, I realised I didn't have my desk and I knew I was probably going to get thirsty at some point. So, anyway, hello and welcome. It's me again, Ruth, up from Artful Stampin. And I was thinking it would be nice if I stamped something for me to go in my new house. <laughs> Uh, kind of inspired by the colours that I've been using to paint it. So um, I'm going to grab some nice zingy colours. Uh, I've got Coastal Cabana, Bermuda Bay, Daffodils and Lights, maybe a bit of Granny, maybe a bit of So Saffron. Um, I haven't really got any darker blues going on at the moment in my house. Oh, actually, there is a little... There is a little square unit that's in my kitchen. It's not this blue, it's a different blue, but I might use that in my kitchen. Probably not going to stay blue, but anyway, I'm wittering now. So I thought it would be nice to try and do some kind of wreath, but kind of work in from the edges a bit more, because I tend to just do a circle, and I thought actually it'd be nice to do something where I'm working in from the edges, and then maybe I'll put a word in the middle. So that's kind of the plan. Uh, my phone is not quite in the right position. Let's sort that out now. Oops, sorry. Okay. Let's get you focused in a little bit more. I'm going to grab my box of blocks. And... Oh, have I packed my big one? Ooh, ooh. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Is it at the bottom? Ah, oh, it's at the bottom. Okay. Oh no, if I pack the big one, I'm going to need it. Anyway, hello, welcome if you're watching this on the replay. Sorry about this unglamorous start. I think I might actually grab some pool party for this big one to start off with. That. There we go. So here's pool party, and we'll make a start. So hello everybody. Oh, did I just see Melanie's name pop up there? Long time no see. Lovely to see you, Melanie. Okay, I'm quite pleased with myself. I've managed to do film two things today that I needed to film. So I'm glad I've got that out of the way because, as you can imagine, we're going to be busy over the next few days. So. Okay, so this is Blossoms in Bloom, which, yes, is a massive stamp, but just great for when you're wanting to get a lot of coverage on your paper or card, whatever it is you're doing. And oh yes, I am stamping again. I know you probably can't see it, but I can. It's very pale, but it's quite nice to have a little bit of that paleness there. There we go. I'm going to say hello to everyone on the live in a second. I'm just going to grab that up so I can see what's happening. Right, so that's the blossoms done. And then I do want to make use of art gallery. This is such a gorgeous set and I don't think I've done it in blue just yet. I may have done but I just can't remember it. So let's have a look who's on the live. Hi Linda, Christine, Cindy, Jane, Lorraine, Gail, Nessa, Paula, Kathy, Rose, Sheila, Christine Gray. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Kathy. Uh, Kathy's watching from Colorado. Hey. Hi, Cherie from Oregon. Uh, Linda. Bev. So, who? Hands up. Who's new on my channel today? Hi, Nina. 
Oh yeah, we've missed you, Melanie. Serene. Nola. Hi, Nola. Glenna. Hi. Becky. Jan. Sorry if I've missed anyone. Hi, Jane. Yes, I am feeling much better today. It was very odd. I had some very odd symptoms yesterday that I had to get checked out. <laughs> I, yeah, it was very bizarre. Um, yeah, I was I was meant to accompany Tom to a funeral yesterday, and I was getting getting all ready to go, and I just felt this pain in my back, and. As time was passing, it was just getting worse and worse. You know where they, you know when, whenever you sort of meet paramedics or you go to the doctors and they say, "What's the pain like from one to 10? And I was like, "Okay, it's about a three or a four. Yeah, I can cope with that. Yeah, take some paracetamol." And then it was like getting up to a five, and I was like, "Hmm, not quite sure about this." <laughs> and the pain was like radiating from my back around to the, my front to my leg. Ladies, you'll know what I mean by ran by my ovaries, and um, I was like, This is really bizarre, anyway. And then my son, he was Google, you know, of course, he's the Google doctor, so he went, Is it could it be is it cystitis? And I was like, Cystitis, and I was like, No, it's not cystitis, I know what that feels like. Um, so then I was looking up other things and thought, Oh, it feels like my kidneys. It, <laughs> It's like my kidneys. So I was like looking up kidneys. Oh, don't ever do that. Because uh, I was then really worried because I thought, oh no, have I got kidney stones? Oh my goodness, this is disastrous. <laughs> anyway, I called the I called the um, surgery. So in at the moment in the UK, the system is that you call the surgery, you tell them your symptoms, and then a nurse calls you back and they decide whether they want to see you or not. So <laughs> I... Um, I then didn't go, obviously didn't go to the uh, funeral because by that point I was feeling a bit yuck. And then, um, and I was starting to feel nauseous. That was the other thing. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm feeling sick with the pain. And it wasn't like a really bad pain. It just made me feel sick. Anyway, managed to go then to see the nurse. And so I'd passed urine in the morning and you know, they always kind of go, oh, have you passed urine since? I'm like, I haven't passed urine since. And I was starting to like panic myself because I was thinking, I don't feel like I need a wee. What's going on? Oh, I'm so sorry, anybody who's watching this for the first time because you don't know me and I'm talking about my physical ailments here. I'm so sorry. I've just realised that, you know, everyone's going, oh, what a lovely stamping she's doing. And she's talking about going to the doctors and urine. I'm so sorry, everybody. You'll just have to like skip forward. Anyway, so... <laughs> I managed to, and then she said, now, is there any, any chance that you could be pregnant? And I was like, uh, no. And um, she said, well, people say that, and you know, and I'm like, well, if you want to check, you can if you want. <laughs> anyway, so I'm definitely not pregnant, everybody. <laughs> and um, there was no sign of infection, which I was very pleased to, to hear. And then, so she then sort of palpated my stomach and said, you know, does this hurt? Does that hurt? And I was like, mm, just a bit tender there maybe, but no, fine. And um, she said, well, I think it may be sciatica. She said, because sciatica can actually manifest itself, you know, round the back and then round to the front. And I was so relieved because ironically, by the time I actually went to see the nurse, the pain has subsided quite significantly. You know, the fact I could actually, you know, talk without sort of rolling my eyes. So anyway, that was great. But then in the evening, I still felt a bit odd. And then I was chatting to Esther and suddenly I felt really dizzy. And it was after I did the live last night. You know, I did the live about all the information stuff. Well, after that, I just had this spell of like dizziness. So I nearly didn't come live last night because I was like, whoa, that was weird. Anyway, and then I was, yeah, I, I had a good night's sleep and I was pretty tired. But then I woke up this morning, no pain, no dizziness, just kind of a feeling that, you know when you've been ill 
and you just don't feel 100%. That is how I felt today. So, um, do I have my appendix? Yes, I have my appendix. Um, no, it definitely wasn't appendix area, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think it was. Although she said it could have been a kidney stone, she said, and you may have passed it. And I went, oh. And then I, I said, so where's it going to go now? And she said, well, it'll be heading towards your urethra, so you might wake up in the middle of the night in pain. I was like, okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so, no, that didn't happen last night. I slept well. Um, so, and I made sure I went to bed before the time I usually go to bed. <laughs> you guys will be shocked what time I go to bed. I usually go to bed very late. Did they test for COVID? No. No, I don't have any COVID symptoms. Yeah. Yes, I guess it was the aftermath. Yes, Deborah, you're right. It could, it could have been just that. It just wiped, it did wipe me out because I, I lay, I sort of was on the sofa from about 12 till one o'clock just trying to deal with the pain and I'd taken paracetamol and it just it felt like it didn't touch it um sorry my phone keeps moving sorry I've missed um some of your comments because you're all laughing hysterically apparently Mindy <laughs> I know I definitely did not want kidney stones I know and then I started to panic I was like have I been eating the wrong foods um have I, did I you know I had some lamb the night before and I was like oh my goodness was that too fatty I shouldn't have eaten that <laughs> So I was like, I've got to eat more fruit, got to drink more water. <laughs> you know, when you, whenever you get ill, you suddenly think, oh my goodness, I've got to, you know, eat, eat more healthily. So uh, anyway, so today we went and took the carpets up and I did message a friend because I thought I, I didn't know how long it was going to take. I didn't know how much strength we were going to need for it. So I had a friend come over to help me lift carpet and so it was surprisingly easy actually. So um, I didn't have to strain too hard to to get that sorted out. So I haven't, I've tried not to be too strenuous today. I've um, done a little bit of packing. Uh, all my craft stuff that I was going to be giving to my friend to look after, he came and picked all that stuff up tonight. So basically everything I think that's left in my craft room at the moment Oh, I'm just looking up and I've just spotted three more boxes. Oh, mm. oh well. I might just have to fit those into the house. Never mind. He's taken rather a lot. so I'd rather have a baby than kidney stones. Well, the funny thing was, Jen, that the, the pain I was experiencing, when the nurse said, have you ex experienced anything like it before? And I went, I said no. And then when Tom mentioned it, I said, actually... Having a baby is probably the closest. <laughs> it was that kind of weird pain. Yeah, it could be that I'm just tired. It could be. But I I don't, like, I know you guys think I'm probably really stressed. And people have, like, said, well, are you stressed? I'm like, I really genuinely don't feel stressed. I feel like everything's under control. You know, things are happening. Yes, I'm moving house. But, you know, everything that, that I plan to have happen has happened. Um, you know, and I'm so grateful to the Lord for, you know, undertaking for it all. I really don't feel stressed in that sense. I mean, a few months ago I felt stressed because I was like, we have nowhere to move. But, um, <laughs> I really am not. So, yes, I'm feeling better now. Let's change the subject. So, my front room is kind of a lighter, slightly lighter version than this colour. Yep. And then my conservatory is a nice bright yellow. Uh, thank you, Wendy. Gave me some gorgeous yellow paint, which we used quite a bit of. So I don't know if you want it back, Wendy. <laughs> gallstones are perfect. Yeah, my husband had gallstones, but amazingly, he... Well, he had rumbling gallstones. So he's never... He's not had to have any surgery or anything. Um, but he just changed his diet and he managed to sort that out. 
Oh, like your bar. Uh, what? You've got this colour like your bathroom wind. Ah, okay. Right, I'm thinking it needs some leaves in here. Might do some yellow and some green. Oh, Wendy! We want to see pictures! Oh, how exciting! So, Wendy says, Wendy March, that is. Swansea Wendy. Even though Wendy doesn't have a, I know she doesn't have a Welsh accent, she's got an Oxfordshire accent. Um, she created a first one sheet wonder with her grandson. Oh, I'm, you know what, that makes my day, that does. Oh, we do want pictures. Glenna, Glenna, is that your Chinese accent coming out? Pictures. <laughs> okay, for those of you who are new to my channel, um, I know quite a few of these ladies very well. So um, if you if it sounds like I'm being cheeky and rude, it's because I am being cheeky and rude because I know them. Okay. <laughs> What is a conservatory? Oh, a conservatory tends to describe a built part of a house that has mainly like glass. So, um, so the conservatory has glass on two sides. Um, it is kind of, it's weird actually, because it's, it's sort of a conservatory, but it is m attached to the main part of the house. So the kitchen, it's got a kitchen and then sort of a conservatory sort of, you know, beside it which is actually going to be my dining room and craft area because some of the furniture from my craft room is actually going to go in the conservatory for now uh, until I get the something else built. So, okay, so that's a little sneaky peeky of the yellow, which is what I wanted. So the neighbours can peek in. No, the, um, I don't have neighbours on one side of where the glass is because that part of the it's, I've got an end terrace house and so one part of that conservatory is actually on the end and then in front of us um, at the moment neighbours from very far away perhaps could see in but we do have blinds but eventually once my uh, studio goes up probably not so no we're actually quite um, what's the word not secluded, but um, not not looked over. That's the word. Yes, it, yes, a sunroom. Yeah, funny enough, it's that one side that faces that is on the end is south facing. I think. So I'm hoping it's going to keep keep that room quite warm because I am a bit scared by having glass on two sides that it's going to be quite cold. But there's nothing I can do about it. Yes, I'm commandeering the craft area. Oh, sorry, the dining room area. <laughs> okay, so I'm happy so far with the combination here. Um, I'm wondering whether I need just some small flowers. And we have got... Oh, all the butterflies. Actually, I could just stamp the butterflies in a darker blue. Hi, Phoebe. Oh, look at all these butterflies I've got in here. Hi Ruth, heard till the end that you were saying about being sick. I had to, it was a diverticulitis attack. Oh, I'll Google that. Yeah, because, yeah, it, as I said, I, st I almost don't feel quite correct today. So, she, because she, yeah, she sort of, she was really great, the nurse, and she's actually like, um, one of the manager nurses and I've had her before for so for something else and she was ever so good at explaining things like when she was prodding she was like oh well you don't really have many organs on that side you do have your kidney and you have this and blah 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 ah now most of it is double it is double glazed already low e coating oh I'll look into that um, it is double glazed apart from we noticed for the first time and I don't know why we hadn't noticed it before one of the panes of glass is broken uh, one of the ones on the outside of the double glazing so we just hadn't noticed it until we like looked right up close to it for some reason we were looking at it closed up the other day and so we do need to get that panel changed so generally it is double glazed apart from this one panel 
So, good probiotic. You know what, actually, I haven't been doing my milk kefir as much as I used to. So that is something that is lacking for my diet at the moment. So I've just kind of gone, I can't cope with looking after kefir at the moment, but I think, oh no, I did not mean to do that. Oh, I can't cope with that. Two butterflies like that. <laughs> uh, let's stick one in there. I wasn't concentrating, people. Oh well, it's done, it's done. Yeah, the double glaze. Um, it's amazing how much it temp... Oh, so this e-coating. Okay. Okay, I will look into that. Right, so then we do have these cute little, like, colouring inny bits for the butterflies. So, shall we have a play with that and... Oh, I might even go in there with the green. I want something that's going to show this up. Thank you, Gail. Can you guys see it all all right? Okay. Just, I don't know what, I'll show you a close-up when I'm done with it. That's not the whole colour of uni bit. That bit is... Oh, and then the other thing that delayed me tonight is I started watching The Queen's Gambit on Netflix. Oh my goodness, it's so fascinating. It's really, really good. I'd heard people say it was good, and I don't know, I just assumed it was like about something else. I don't, I don't, I don't know, it's not what I thought it was going to be like. It is really good. So, there we go, get my green butterflies in there. That's cute. And then I'm wondering whether just a bit of... Now, I know I stamped that in Pacific, didn't I? Right, let's see if any Bermuda Bay on top of this would look good. Yes, you can buy it ready-made. Sorry, I meant... Um, I used to brew it... My, not brew it. Make it myself. My mum has got some grains that she can send, and she did send me. Actually, Liz Gannon, who's watching, she has grains that uh, I gave her. So I've I've only got to ask Liz, and Liz would provide me with some. It's just that I'm terrible. If I'm not in the mood to do it, I will forget to change, to make it. You have to kind of do it every couple of days. So... Yeah, I might, I do need to do a shop actually. I might get to get some in Tesco tomorrow because just the ready ready drink stuff. Oh, you watched it, Vanessa. Oh, good. Oh, Vanessa, have you found a house yet? Hi, Cindy Fox. Oh. Brilliant, Wendy, because I've got some stuff for you and I've got a card for Liz. So I will leave them. If I'm not back at the house, I will leave them in a bag for you. Ooh, papaya for diverticulitis. Ooh. That's interesting, Connie. Anyway, thank you for listening to my ailments. <laughs> and thank you for those of you who sent your best wishes to me. That was very sweet of you. Gosh, it makes such a subtle difference, this, this little stamp. It's fab. Just got to take your time as you're colouring it in. <laughs> Careful, you can't drink it. Oh, mix it with something. Mix it in a smoothie, Delinda, if you can't drink it. Yeah, it's quite sour if you're not used to it. There we go. Right, I think some dotage will finish this off now. Thank you, Amanda. Yes, I am. 
if, if you've just joined I've just told the story of what happened so you'll have to rewind and oh how exciting Vanessa Oh, don't don't do any spoilers on the Queen's Gambit. I'm I can't remember what episode I'm up to. I'm I'm in, up to the episode where oh no, I'm not even going to say because there's some people who haven't watched it. All right, I'm not going to say anything. I don't want to spoil it for you. Oh look, there's a bit of a black hole here. Can you see? There's just sort of like a space there that I don't like. I'll come back and tidy that up. Now there's something, when I bang my table, there's something vibrating. That's better. Right. There we go. focus we have to move on the 17th of Feb oh brilliant right I think I need to put a little bit of yellow just in this section here uh, this is 8 by 8 Deborah yeah, so in the UK, our standard sort of rectangular paper is just bigger than eight by eight. eight it's eight inches by 11 and a something. So I've cut this down to eight by eight because in terms of buying a frame, it's more likely I can get an eight by eight than a 21 by 21 centimetre. So, yeah. When calls the heart. Oh, is that good, Wendy? Hi Pamela, saw you sneak in. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Right, I think I'm done. I want to do a bit more now. On my spare bit. Or should I do a big stamped one sheet wonder? Should I just do that? Because I'm in the I'm I'm on a roll now. I thought I was a bit tired, but now I've got now I've done one. I'm like <gasps> I want to do more. Might do an oval. Should I do an oval one? We'll start with just some leaves. See, I'm loving Daffodil Delight at the moment because I've recently re-inked it and it's so lovely and juicy. It's like, whoa. Just scrummy. Okay, Vicky. Go to bed. I know, but I'm in the mood now, Wendy. In the mood. Okay, and what I will clean the stamps as I go so that I'll go to bed. I won't have to clean these afterwards. Okay, now I fancy using that one as well. So something a bit different, but I will do that in so saffron. Oh, okay, thanks Pamela. Pamela's giving us information about when calls the heart. Oh no, <laughs> I'll have your king size. 
Actually, I've, I haven't really got space for a king size either, either, but I just like the idea of a king size. Yeah, which I'm, well, it might be it's a bit late for her because it's, it's 22... One isn't it for her right now? So are there any ink colours that are retiring soon? Yes. In May the Terracotta Tile Rococo Rose Pretty Peacock Purple Posy and Seaside Spray are going so if you love any of those colors you need to buy them now Oh, Pretty Peacock, not Terracotta Tile. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm getting my colours muddled up. Yeah, sorry, you're right. It's Pretty Peacock, Rococo Rose, Purple Posy, Seaside Spray. <laughs> you're stocking up on Purple Posy. Yeah, nothing at Linda's house retires either, Cheryl, so don't worry. No, it's only for me, because I'm a demonstrator. Um, I try not to show products that you can't buy, just because it's not fair, really. It's, it gets too frustrating. So, But you guys can carry on using it, and sometimes I do sneak in the odd retired thing, just to remind you. <laughs> you need to buy me. Before I go, it is terracotta tile. I did get it right. Thanks, Sheila. All right, now hold on. Pool party. Do I want to go Bermuda Bay? What do you think? Should I go Coastal Cabana or Bermuda Bay for? What did I use here? No, I think I want to go a bit more bold. So I'm going to go Bermuda Bay for this one. Oh, <gasps> you've never used lemon lime twist ink before. Yes, that's going to be retiring as well, Heidi. Yep. Okay, so when I'm stamping this flower, I find it helpful to lift it and then twist it slightly and then stamp again. Because then you get this paler version in the background. Take care, Sheila. Have a blessed time. Yes, Cheryl. Yeah, Lemon Lime left us a while back, but we still remember it fondly. It's a, it was a good friend when it was around. Yeah, and it's a shame really because we had lemon lime twist, then we've had last year we had pineapple punch, didn't we? Which I I would put in all those categories that like really lovely and zingy. And then we've had magenta madness this year, and I think magenta, lemon lime, and the pineapple would have made great uh, uh, an amazing party. Just the best party ever. But sadly. They never met. Yes, I do have a few sheets of their cardstock, yeah. I've 
done my order from the mini and the, and the main now to get it so it can be ordered. Oh, I know. I'm so sorry about the shipping delays, everybody. We'll just have to keep stamping through the pain, won't we? <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad you're enjoying the pineapple punch. It's such a great colour. Okay, so now I'm looking at these background flowers and thinking they look really boring. They need some texture in them. So I'm going to get the Coastal Cabana now and just stamp something in these flowers. Uh, pineapple punch Jen yeah if someone wants to do that combination and share it with us on Artful Stampin Space my Facebook group for anything Artful Stampin that you create please do it's just so much fun seeing what you guys come up with after you've seen one of my videos Oh, that's so exciting, Amanda. I'm so glad. Yeah, I I just stop. I've got to the point where I stop looking to see if it's coming or not because mine's. I think mine is still in Frankfurt. So. Grapefruit Grove is one of those funny colours that when it first came out, I I wasn't so keen on it, but it actually is a really great colour. Okay, so I feel like we need some more little flowers in here now. So, I've um, got this lovely little cluster here. Mm, not sure. I'm thinking a rose. I might just grab a rose. You know, because beautiful friendship just works every time, doesn't it? Oh, loved blueberry bushel. Oh, you're mentioning all the ones that I miss now. Twelve stamp sets under a pile of car cardstock. Oh my gosh, Vanessa. So did you like triple order anything? At least it wasn't under a cabinet like last time. Do you remember she lost a stamp set under a cabinet? I'm using Pacific Point, Jan. Oh, that's a shame, Cathy. Yeah, keep looking out for, the, for it, because sometimes Stampin' Up! demonstrators have a bit of a clear out and you can pick them up. Oh, clever, Paula. One stamp set I think I've lent out to somebody and oh I think I've just remembered who it is now. 
I was just thinking, I've lent it out to somebody, I don't think I've had it back, but I've just remembered who that person might be. So, although this is supposed to be a flower, it kind of also works as just a like bunch of foliage, which is quite cute. Just like a mop of something. Okay, that's cute, I like that. So I'm thinking a little bit of smaller foliage with the green. Would look so pretty. Hi Crafty Cat, you're seeing products from Stampin' Up, which is an American company, but is available in the UK, uh, Germany, France, Austria and Holland via me. So if you click on my online shop, you can go and purchase them. Uh, and then if you're in America, you can purchase them through American Demonstrators. If you're in Australia or New Zealand, you can also get them via somebody else. So welcome to my channel, Crafty Cat. Where are you based? Hi, Denise. Halfpenny. I'm sure I've seen your name around in Crafty World. <laughs> Or Facebook or something. Your name rings a bell. So if you don't follow my channel already, please do hit that subscribe button so that you can find me again. I've got loads of videos. Lots of this style as well. So this is what I call stamped one sheet wonders. Because what I do is I stamp a sheet of paper and then I cut them up and use them to make cards. So I may not cut it up today, but I may do in the future. So I do have a whole playlist called um, Using Stamped One Sheet Wonders, where I used my stamped papers. And then I've got a whole playlist called Stamped One Sheet Wonders that you can watch. And then I've got things like Masculine as a playlist. And also, oh, what's the other playlist? Um, detailed cards that's it detailed cards so you're in Arizona oh they were one of your favorite lines I'm in the US Arizona oh lovely so where was um Denise from Denise where were you from you are helping me ride my bike every night thank you Oh my goodness, that's so funny Jan, well done, glad you're exercising. <laughs> There's going to be hours and hours of watch time there, you're, you're kind of like keeping me paid by Google, Jan is single-handedly, you know, sorting out my uh, watch time. <laughs> Thanks Jan, you're the best. Okay, so this is the speckledy one from Forever Fern. Oh, thank you, Vanessa. You're adorable, you are. Do you know that? They're so kind to me. Thank you, I'm from Hemel Hempstead, not Esther, but loves to... Ah, okay, Denise, I might have watched you on Esther's channel. That's what it is. Yeah. Oh, you're very welcome to come over here. And sometimes Esther and I do collabs. So you might see us together. Especially when we visit each other, we do a bit, try and do a live. Because I know you guys like to see us together. So if you don't follow Stampin' Star Creations, that's my sister Esther. If you don't follow Woo's Creations, please follow Woo's Creations. She's one of my in one of my team. Uh, who else is one of my team? Wendy's Craft Den. She's under Esther. Who else has got YouTube channels? Um, and then uh, Amanda Jennings. She's in my team. She has an, an Etsy shop. So, sorry, Samantha has an Etsy shop. 
Samantha's signed up. But Amanda, could you just put the name of your Etsy shop up again, please? Is it Willow Willow Wood Crafts? I think it's called. But she'll she'll tell you now. Oh, that looks so pretty. I might try and find a way to use this as, as well. It's funny, Pacific Point is not a colour I tend to go towards very often, but when I do use it, I really like it. Oh yes, Jazzle Dazzle. Yeah, she's not in my team, but yeah, please do support Janice. She's awesome. And Linda's just a Ruth cheerleader. Yeah, she does. Linda's like my second mummy. Well, I've got a few mummies on here. Actually, it's not just Linda, I have to say. There's a few. <laughs> Because I'm Linda, I'm, I'm Linda, I'm, I'm younger than most of them. <laughs> so they mother me. <laughs> They're the age of my mother, some of these ladies. <laughs> Hi Marlene, welcome. Right, is there anything else you want to see me put on here? Little butterfly? Have I got, let's have a look what other butterflies I've got. Actually, I wouldn't mind playing a little bit with the leaf because it's a bit of a different texture to what I've just used. And I'd be interested to see how that stamps up over the top. Mmm, let's look at that. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty close, isn't it? You saw it here first. <laughs> some of you are younger than my mum and some of you may be older I don't know <laughs> thank you Amanda Willow Wood Art Designs UK on Etsy there we go and Amanda and Samantha make beautiful cards that they sell on Etsy some of them using Stampin' Up! product. Well, increasingly more Stampin' Up! product, actually. So. Did we calculate that then, Linda? You're older than my mum. My mother was born in 43. Yes, definitely, Phoebe. How young is my mum? My mum's getting on. So she's older than my dad. My dad was born in 45 and my mum was born in 43. I know, she's a cradle snatcher. <laughs> a splash of red. Ooh, that would be brave. I'm not sure if I'm brave enough tonight, uh, Amanda. Mmm, I've got to have to have a cup of tea before I... Mm. Oh, I bet he is, Vanessa. My husband is so happy he doesn't have to get, he doesn't have to uh, cut hedges anymore. Mm. I just dribbled my tea. Oh dear. <laughs> Time for bed, I think. <laughs> you know when you like, go to drink your tea and you miss your mouth. Calypso coral. Mmm, I may be... Oh, thank you, Jane. <laughs> Number one fan, I love it. That's so kind of you. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Calypso Coral. Raylene says, once again, a beautiful comment. Thank you for being inspirational. I've just gotten into butterflies and learned how to cut them on my old scan and cut. Oh, nice. Um... Mine was whining yesterday because we had snow. <laughs> Your husband. <laughs> My mum is seven years older than you. Ah, okay. Right. Mm, Calypso. Could do Calypso butterflies. Actually, I've got some terracotta tile here. 
you know what, I can't be bothered to reach for the Calypso Coral because it's uh, all the way over there. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I would have to get up off my chair to go and get the Calypso Coral, so I'm not doing it. I'm going to just sit here and stamp in terracotta tile instead. <laughs> I hope you'll forgive me. Oh my goodness, guys, if you're on Artful Stamping Space, who has seen the gorgeous paper that Phoebe stamped the other day with the strawberries? Like, they look so amazing, I wanted to eat them. And Miss Bonnie is churning out some pretty stuff right now. And I, who else has been churning things out? Sorry, I've got to be careful now because it makes... If I don't mention people's names, they're going to go, oh, you didn't mention me. But no, I, I love every contribution people make. But I've, these are just people I've noticed who's, you know, stuck in my mind. So. Oh, Martina. They were like, where's Martina? She's not here. We're missing Martina. Martina, oh where is, oh where is Martina? Did you not get a notification? Oh no, Martina. I should have messaged you directly. That's a shocker. Usually you get notification. Oh, did I forget to link it on? Did I forget to put it on WhatsApp? Oh, I did. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry, Martina. Oh, sorry. So it was my fault, everybody. Oh, my goodness. Hello, hello, Miss Martina. Yeah, we all love a bit of West Side Story, don't we? I want to live in America. Everything free in America. Well, it's not quite everything free in America now, is it? What are you taking off in your zebra? <laughs> okay, so for those of you who don't know Martina, she has this really cool Victorian lady on a zebra stamp. Which occasionally, you know, gets used on one of her funky cards. Now he wants to see your fruity paper. Oh, it's so free fruity, Mr. Phoebe Romero. Very fruity. Have a very fruity wife. <laughs> very creative. Your use of colour is just gorgeous. Do you mainly use the brights, Phoebe? Is that what it is? Something about your colour combinations that are really yummy. It's like you, you're not scared of colour at all. Right, um, hmm. I might just have to get up to reach for the Calypso Coral because I want to put that shading thing here. My phone is running out of battery. Mostly brights and regals, yes, that does make sense. Hi, Bev. Oops, sorry, knocking things over. Okay, I'm just going to put these final touches. So I did get up to get the Calypso Coral, <laughs> but there we go. It was quite interesting to use the terracotta tile because it's not a colour I would normally reach for. So I'm just using the Calypso to colour in my wee butterflies.
Hi, Paula. So apologies to anyone who would normally get the WhatsApp notification. I'm so sorry, I forgot to do it tonight. There we go, all done. And if you missed the one earlier, please do rewind and go and watch how I did this one. So this is kind of designed to go in my front room in my new house because the walls are this colour. So. Right, there we go. I'll let you vote which one is your favourite. And I know I didn't quite... Did, I wasn't brave enough to do the red, Amanda, but I hope you'll be satisfied with the terracotta tile. <laughs> I think I will use up my cardstock. I'm not fond of by stamping all over it. Yes, yeah, 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 for sure. I I do do that. I, I choose the plainer side of the cardstock and just stamp on it. <clears throat> they do add a, add a touch of whimsy. Yes, Pamela, I agree. Yeah, when do I move in? Uh, the second and third. That's when we're coming. Wait, we've got the removals guys coming and then we've got to just make sure this house is emptied. Because there's things not going to the new house, so we've got to get rid of them, get rid of things. So it's going to be fun. You love both, but the square pips it. Oh, you like them both. Cool. I have some apparition showing on the screen. Oh, what's that, Martina? Loving this off-edge look, yes. So it's just a way of kind of doing something a bit fuller. And in a way, you know, you can almost imagine that the wreath goes around like like this, but you're just seeing this section. So yeah, really interesting. Right, I'm off. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I can see I've got 88 viewers right now, so thank you so much for watching on the live. It's always great to have your company. I'm sorry if I overshared earlier about my ailments. Uh, but yeah, no, thank God, I'm I'm feeling much better now, and uh, hopefully go from strength to strength as we've got a very busy week for next week. So there we go. Hi, Debbie Saint Amand from Canada. Some yellow scotches with a female in it next to an Indian. Oh, okay. Thank you, Anne. Thumbs up, ladies. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate all your thumbs up. Yeah, it just helps for the 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 videos to be seen. So it means that if you buy, if you give it a thumbs up, it means that you will get to see similar videos to these come up in your YouTube feed. Okay. So if you don't like this video, that's fine. Just scroll by. You can even give it a thumbs down. Actually, if you give it a thumbs down, it means that you won't see any more like this. Or just don't subscribe to me, you know, watch something else. But uh, if you do like what I do, then uh, please thumbs up. Because it means that you can come by again and hang out with these fabulous people who craft. So, Dioch and Val, Wendy, Nosta. I would give many thumbs up if I could. Oh, thank you, Phoebe. Well, funny enough, I have about four channels with on one account so sometimes when I'm signed into a different account I give myself a thumbs up <laughs> just saying <laughs> oh, that's quite funny you gave me a fist punch oh thank you Linda's off to check Phoebe's post yeah oh the strawberries are so cool yeah thanks to Linda That's awesome. Thank you. Right. Lots of love. See you soon. Bye.